and welcome to week seven of Growing Up Guide Pup. I'm Amy, and this is Ricky, who is a little too tired to help me with this segment. <laughs> we had a lot of great questions this week. Next Raker wanted to know, how many commands does Ricky know, if any? So Ricky knows a few commands already. She understands how to sit when I ask her to, and she could stay for short periods of time. One thing I like to do is walk in a short circle around her because I'm close by her, and if she should get up, I can put her back down into the position that I had her staying in. Another command that she understands is her that's enough command. And we use this when we're playing with her and we want her to stop the game. So if I'm playing tug with her with the rope toy and I want her to stop, I'll just tell her that's enough. And she should hopefully drop the toy each time. Come here, Ricky. There you go. And the last command that Ricky really seems to understand is how to come. So we've been doing this with short distances only and without any distractions yet. Another great question we had this week was from to go like one. This person wanted to know what type of socialization outside the house are we doing with Ricky and how we're handling it. We've done a few restaurants and she's done fantastic. And one of the things that she needs to learn when she's at a restaurant is to walk into the restaurant without bothering any of the patrons and to sit nicely underneath the table without trying to lick it or eat anything that's on the floor. And we've been working on this at home by anytime she's trying to eat something, we try to distract her with the nylophone and get her chewing on that instead. And this works very well at the restaurant also. So we make sure we bring a few toys with us so she has a couple options of things to chew on that are appropriate for her to play with. I put the gentle leader on her so she was trying to jump on every person that walked by, but uh, she's not too happy about it right now. So she's being a little fussy. Huh? Fussy, fussy. You gotta get used to it. <laughs> Another place Ricky has been frequently is the grocery store. We take her with us every time we go. We try to keep it very short just to avoid any accidents in the store because she's still learning how to hold it even though she's doing much better. And this is different than a restaurant because she's pretty much moving most of the time until we get in line to pay for things where she needs to sit quietly and wait patiently. This week we did a special outing. We joined some of our group members at a garden close by where we had a booth to answer any questions people may have on guide dogs and puppy raising. And Ricky and I sat at the booth and answered questions and she got lots of pets and there were tons of children coming up to her, multiple kids at once and petting her and she handled it fantastic, just like a pro. Well that's it for this week and remember at the end of this segment you can click on any of the thumbnails and catch up on any previous episodes. Join us next week when we'll have a very special guest with us. Thanks, bye bye.